Now I'm going to go to create again. I'm going to select another picture, double click on it. I can go to create. Um, I can set it as my wallpaper on my desktop. I can download more photo tools. I can open it with Paint, Fireworks, Photoshop. I can order the prints, email it, select my size. I can put it on my blog, send it to a movie, to Movie Maker, or send it to SkyDrive, Facebook, YouTube, Flickr, or other groups. I can go to View. I can zoom in, zoom out. I can go to the actual size. I can fit it to a window, and I can also make a slideshow. You can select from different themes on your slideshow. If I choose contemporary, there it is. So, there it is. You can also change the theme here. Go to fade. Sepia, black and white, cinematic. You can create a movie. It'll take you to Movie Maker. And you can also share this slideshow. Again, on SkyDrive, Facebook, YouTube, Windows Live Groups, or Flickr. So I'm going to go back to my photo gallery. You can also tag and get your caption pane. Here it is. I can tag it, I can geotag it, I can enter a city, a country, a region, or any location to find my picture. I can add a caption to it. Panorama. So that's my caption. If I want to look for my pictures under captions or tags, I can do the same thing with the tags. I'm going to close my file. And if I click on my tab that says View, I have the same choices again. I can sort it in a re reverse order. I can rate it. I can add my caption. I can see all the details of the picture, the file name, the size, the date that it was taken, the image size the date that it was modified, my flags, zoom in and out, or create a slideshow from here.